Eaton Delete 750 hits the spot for a premium setup thanks to its build, features, quality, and yes, pricing. There can be some questions about its value, but the radio is good at its job. This radio is a proven and popular design. While we look at the Eaton Elite 750, it's worth noting that this radio is the same as Texan S2000 and Grundig 750. Between these models, the difference usually comes down to the brand labels stuck at the top left of the radio. Also, irrespective of the branding, the radio is manufactured by Texan. The first thing to notice about this radio is its appearance and build. The design is attractive, feeling somewhat muscular even in the block shape. It looks laying the foundation for the premium fill and pricing. Thankfully, the build quality follows through and makes this a dependable radio for those who want a quality shortwave reception. While the Eaton Elite 750 is a remarkable SW radio, it works on several bands including LW, Long Wave, SW, Short Wave, MW, Medium Wave, FM, and Airband. It also works with SSB, further adding to available features. The capability of this radio receiver to work well for SSB and SW are highlights for me, though it isn't a slacker for other bands either. Managing controls and frequencies is easy. Users can enter the desired frequency directly using the keypad buttons on the face of the radio or go about it the old-fashioned way and move the dial to get to the frequency you want. It's a fun way to discover new SW channels and there's a lot going on in this band. Interestingly, though the radio covers a wide range of frequencies and bands, it doesn't leave gaps and covers the full band. On that note, many users find the wide band for this radio to be too wide, while the narrow band can seem too narrow. It's a valid criticism, though this experience can vary with geographic region. The BFO can work as a clarifier and is very useful in such situations. Elite 750 manages a decent reception even when working solely with its telescoping antenna and rotating antenna. I like the rotating antenna. It has a nice touch when moved and is aesthetically pleasing. If you want more out of this radio, hook it up to a quality external antenna. The radio's side has room for accepting antenna connections, including long wire antennas. Add an antenna tuner for better signal and significantly jump in signal quality. Power flows through D batteries and it is very efficient for a radio with this size and features. It sips battery and you can expect it to last a very long time. There's also room for a 6 volt DC input at its side. At the back of the radio, along with the battery compartment, you'll find another compartment, which is empty. Apparently, this is used for a built-in power supply for some markets, but not in the USA. So we get an empty spot. It's great for storing a few small items. I put my Bluetooth earbuds in there, but unfortunately, this expensive radio shies away from Bluetooth. Overall, Eaton Elite 750 is a great shortwave radio, though probably more expensive than it should be. To sum up what we like is the excellent build quality, overall aesthetics and design. Works well on SW, also offers MW, LW, SSB, and Airband. Good performance with built-in antennas, rotator and telescopic, efficient use of battery, and good sound quality and clarity. On the downside, it can be tough to justify the price. The wideband can feel too wide, 30 kilohertz, and no Bluetooth. Our rating for features is 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Audio clarity, 9 out of 10. Ease of use, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best shortwave radio for you? Check another video where we reviewed the 5 best shortwave radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments what you think, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to support us. Have an awesome day!